passion for violins first began when I must have been three years old. And I was watching Sesame Street, and there was a little girl playing a violin. And I told my mom, I want to do that. Uh, she thought I meant I wanted to play violin, but I meant I wanted to make them. I began my career in sort of an orthodox way where I went to the University of Alberta and I got my nursing degree. And I did that for a year and a half, but in the back of my mind, it was still a dream to learn how to make violins. So one day, my husband and I were having a candid conversation about goals and dreams, and he would be heading off to medical school and when I told him I wanted to learn how to make violins, he said, why not? And so I headed to the Violin Making School of America in Salt Lake City. And I loved it. It was a great experience with a lot of like-minded people and many who had actually come to it uh, after getting degrees or trying other things in life. And they were all ages from right out of high school to retired people wanting to take this up now. Making violins is such a satisfying thing to me that I think even if people weren't buying them, I'd still want to be making them. There's such a, a romance and a mystery about them, and they've been made for over 300 years, and we still do them in essentially the same ways. My advice for people uh, wanting to take a chance on a dream, I'd say know the difference between a dream and a goal. and. Stack your chances by having a good support system around you. 